everybody and welcome to Moria. I think it's how you say it. We're in, still in French Polynesia, but a different island. A beautiful island um, thus far from the view. We, we're going to be tendering in today um, because it's like a small little channel with lots of corals and uh, reefs and whatnot. So uh, yeah, we're stuck right here in this kind of this little canal and it is windy. <laughs> beautiful. It's, it's, it's like 79, 80 degrees, um, but just really windy up here. Um, one cool thing I want to show you um, this morning is there's those famous bungalows over the water that you hear uh, when you think of Bora Bora and Tahiti right there beautiful from right here the water is like a turquoise color back there where all the boats are I heard those bungalows in certain places I don't know about that one specifically but a lot of them cost around a thousand dollars a night so pretty expensive but i mean you do get a bungalow right over the water you jump in the water and um, some of them have glass um, floors in certain places of the bungalows so you can see um, the water right there from your room so that's really nice like i said there's a lot of coral reefs and things like that so it's um so we had to kind of go through a certain spot just to get through here but you see all the turquoise water and you can see those little reef areas right over there and then over here we'll be going with our tender which is kind of right below me we'll be going that way and there's some beacons and some little towers through the water so no red on one side green on the other side so you just go through the canal to go around and pop up over there in the little town over there we're gonna head downstairs get our tender tickets and head on over to the island before it starts pouring down rain which is supposed to be but it's the tropics it is what it is so i'll catch you all downstairs Getting on the tender, heading over to the island where the, I think the first one's on. Woo hey, thank you. Hey. Uh, we weren't the first ones, but close enough. We made it here to land, and of course, the first thing you walk through is basically our market area where we got the antiques, um, the little knickknacks you want to buy for the family and stuff, all through here. This is where you're gonna go through to enter the island and where you're gonna come back through. And of course, there's some more over here at the entranceway where we just tendered in. And of course, some of the excursions are offered by the locals. So we're gonna look at that and see what um, they have to offer. And so we went ahead and booked um, one of the snorkeling with the sharks and stingrays and beach adventures here on the island. It's one of the first uh, uh, set of people when we first came in. If you wait a little bit longer um, and get in the outside, they have more of the Jeep and van excursions that you can just kind of wander up the island. This seems like it'd be a lot more fun. But we got this huge boat, look at that. It's still loading up, of course. And we're gonna go see some sharks and some stingrays, hopefully. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights won't stop for traffic lights And I, I really wanna know, really wanna know If I... We made it here to the island, a little private area and I don't know why in the world I did not bring sandals here. That's the weirdest thing ever. I brought my big old shoes and didn't know we were actually gonna do this. Thought it'd be all sandy. And, oh, yeah, that's not the case. So I am barefooted all over these rocks. The water is crystal clear, it's beautiful. Um, I'm assuming once we get down to the, um, I'm assuming once we get over there to where we're gonna be swimming, it'll be more sandy, I hope, because I did not bring any water stuff. You get off the boat right into the water, about knee deep. But yeah, that water is gorgeous, look at that. And then of course, we got our eating area over here and people getting ready to snorkel behind us. So this is it. This is our private getaway. Well, not private, but small getaway. Now water is crystal clear. Now we did see different little spots in different little parts of the island. So I'm assuming each little tour group has their own little portion of private area. Like you have one over there and then you have one way down yonder. We did see a bunch of uh, people snorkeling over um, in the middle. Although um, the ocean where we were coming in, 
Um, we're more secluded, so I don't, we'll see what things we can find in this little private cove. Because just right over there, you can see the ocean right there. So it's kind of rocked up here to prevent a lot of those waves that are on the other side of that rock formation from coming in here. So it's nice and instead of dark blue like over there, it's nice and crystal clear. say this was an amazing trip here um, at this reef area it is a um, beautiful shallow area where you can see lots of corals um, we've seen tons and tons of stingray that come right up to you you can pet them um, it, it was amazing and then you see some uh, black tip sharks that was a lot of fun so I've never that I at least that I could recall have ever been in the water at the same time where I actually see a shark right next to me so this is the first time we had three at one time running around this one guy and they just swim right past me, right past me, not a not, not worry in the world. Um, so they were black tipped sharks, seemed pretty friendly. Of course, I'm sure they're fed so they don't bother us humans, but that was, it was such an amazing um, time here. So we got to have, um, they gave us snorkels um, and a mask and all that stuff. We had some drinks, we had some uh, fruit cocktail things. So it was a lot of fun and it only cost us like $45. Um, to do this beautiful time and we, we the boat leaves here every hour it goes picks up people brings them here and then brings us back to the port so about every hour they um, come back and forth and $45 normally it's listed for 50 they give us a deal so 45 and much cheaper than buying it on the ship so if you're gonna be over here and you don't want to do one of the excursions that are um, provided by the ship there's plenty of people selling excursions on the island when you leave uh, the tender area um, here at the on the island. You can either take the little vans that go around and tour the, the that tour the island, or you can do these beautiful reef areas where you see the sharks swim with them, see the stingrays swim with them, touch them, all that stuff, and it's just a fantastic time. And look at it, the water is just crystal clear. It's just absolutely beautiful. It's getting a little overcast. It's starting to rain a little bit. It did um, rain for a little bit earlier, but it's been pretty sunny this entire time it's been absolutely gorgeous we couldn't ask for a better day and what I, this is what you think of when you think of french polynesia you think about this beautiful water you think about the swim with the animals it's just what an amazing time so we're waiting for the boat to come back and pick us up and we're gonna head back to the ship and maybe look around the little market there and then get some food so guys this is it this has been a beautiful exciting adventurous um, day here in French Polynesia on this beautiful island. We got to see the stingrays and the um, black tip sharks, which was exciting. And ending this day with some beautiful views. Um, it is getting a little cloudy back here where the mountains are, but it is, look at that beautiful greenery. And it's just a gorgeous, and the water is that nice turquoise water. You got a little beach right there. And then some um, sailboats back here. And of course, back in the background, you have the famous bungalows on the water which is very cool and we did pass some bungalows that were kind of on the edge of the water on the way to our snorkeling site but this is oh if you're going to be here on this island you definitely um if you don't do an excursion through the cruise ship you definitely have to do some kind of excursion the stingrays and the shark snorkeling was just just phenomenal but thank you guys i hope you enjoyed it's been a wonderful um productive day here in the island Right now I'm going to go get some food because I am starving. And I will catch you all on the next island, which we will be, I guess tomorrow. We're going to be spending two days at the next island. 
and um, before we head over to Tonga. So guys, you take care. Again, safe travels as always, and have a wonderful day, guys. Thanks for watching.